Hi, I'm Chris from Chris Loves Crochet and Crochet Recreations, and I have a question for you. Are you tired of your yarn ending up like this at the end of a ball? Now, I know this is the very end, but what I have for you today is a way to make these little, what I've decided to call them, are yarn ball cozies. So, small, medium, large that can go extra large. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so like I said, I had a request to make something small and quick and that's what I'm gonna do today. And I'm gonna actually use one that I've made to make one. So it's just a, um, it's, I, I don't even know what to call it. It's a yarn ball, yarn ball holder so that you can put your yarn ball in here um, and it'll stay all together even as it's getting smaller and smaller. So what you need is some yarn. This is just a DK, this is just what I found. So I'm using a five and a half uh, millimeter hook and I need a little rubber band for the type that I'm showing you today. And I'm just going to start with a magic circle This is how I do a magic circle and make a 12 double crochet around so I'm just gonna um, chain up two to give me the height and now I'm gonna do 12 one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve. So I've got my twelve. I'm not counting the the chain two. Um, so I'm going to take the tail not the circle, and pull it closed. And then I'm going to um, slip stitch into the first double crochet, not the chain two. So the first double crochet is here. Let me count to make sure. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. What did I do? Let me count to make sure I have 12. Oh, because I went into the wrong hoop. It was shorter because I only did a chain two up. So there we go. We've got 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now I'm going to chain up two and then in the same stitch I'm going to do a double crochet and then I'm going to chain one and do a double crochet in the next stitch chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one because this just needs to be like a mesh look <clears throat> So we've started the mesh here by doing a double crochet, chain one, all the way around. So that gives me the double count to make in the nice flat circle on the bottom, well flat-ish. Chain one, and then I'm going to slip stitch to this first double crochet and now I should have not counting that chain two I should have 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so now I'm gonna start building up um, I still want it to grow out a little bit but I don't want it to be a flat circle so I am going to 
Um, chain two, double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next chain one, chain one, double crochet in the next chain one, and so now I've got three, and then in the fourth one, fourth uh, chain one, I'm going to do a V. So I'm going to do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in the same chain one. Then I go another three, single crochet, and then in one chain one, I'm going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, go into the next chain one, next three, didn't quite add up right, oh yeah it did because that's just one, okay, so then in this one, wait, so I've done three singles, I'm going to do a chain one, and then in this chain one, I'm going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. End with a chain one, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen on that one. So now, what happened? I got dogs climbing all over everything. Um, so now I'm going to chain two, do a double crochet in that same double crochet, chain one. And I'm going to go four and then do two double crochets in one single chain. So that's the first one is one, two, three, four. Uh oh, I'm in the V. I do another V. Double crochet, chain one double crochet, chain one, go into the next stitch, I'm going to do four singles, three, whoops, four, chain one, oops, I'm in the next V, I'm going to make another V. See how this is going. So I'm making a smaller one. Oh, I'm in another V, so I didn't even count. So I'm just going to make another V in that V. And slip stitch to the first double crochet. So I'm going to make a smaller one, but I'm going to make one more round of um, increases so that I get a little bit of a rounder uh, shape. So I'm going to make one more round with a V in the V. So I'm going to go one, two, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, and then the V, and then five, and then a V. But You'll know because you're in a V and you're going to make a V in the V. After this stitch, then I'm just going to go a few more rounds um, with just straight single double crochet in each chain one and then chain one and then a double crochet in the chain one. And I'm going to do that for a few more rounds. So I'll show you in a minute. All right, so I have finished the last round and I am going to slip stitch into this first double crochet and so for this one you don't have to follow the exact numbers that I have it depends on what size you want so I have the first round of the 12 double crochet and then I have a double crochet chain one double crochet so I still have 12 double crochet but 12 chain one 
And then I started um, increasing with a V stitch every three, and then every four, and then every five. So I have the first round, the second round, and then I have three rounds of V stitches and three rounds of just straight single crochet. Not single crochet, single double crochet. One double crochet in each single chain. So <clears throat> I finish this and I'm gonna chain up one and I'm gonna single crochet around this hairband, this hair tie. Um, so it'll give it a nice closure not completely closed, but something that that will hold the yarn in. So I'm gonna single crochet in the stitch, and then in the chain one, I'm gonna do two single crochets. Cause you know, this, um, this band is gonna stretch a little bit. I just want a little bit extra coverage. So I'm doing two in each chain spot and one in each stitch of single crochets and to go all the way around and these are great for um if you have a smaller ball of yarn that you just want to start in a casing and i thought i thought of a good name i thought of a, a yarn ball cozy ha huh? how about that Yarn ball cozy or koozie or <clears throat> whatever you call those things that go on cans. But this is for a yarn ball and it holds it together. It's not like, you know, it's cold or anything, but it holds it together. Because, you know, those, those little um, balls of yarn that you get, as soon as you start pulling from the center and get about halfway through, they're so loose and they start coming apart or if you have a, a big skein and then you haven't used it all but you're gonna save it pull this around some but you're gonna save it then you might do what I do and get my ball winder out and um, make the rest of it into um, a ball and so then when I want to use that again as that little ball gets used up it starts falling apart and I just really wanted something to hang on to them and I really started this I'll show you the the yarn that um, I started using this these with and so I had to start off with like making about four of them I didn't hide my tail with that no I don't have a tail oh that's from the that's from the magic circle we'll have to deal with in a second. Keep pulling that along so we still have room on the scrunchie or the hair tie. You can use a few rubber bands in here too. Instead of hair ties if you don't have those hanging around. I have a lot hanging around. I used to have long hair and now I have short hair so I've got lots of these hanging around with nothing to do with them. And then I've got one more stitch. And then I'm going to try slip stitch into the first single crochet. Pull one chain through. Get my scissors out. Cut that off. And we have a little, this is a little tiny pouch. Really quick and simple. Um, I'm gonna finish it off a little bit. If I can find a good needle here. In my fancy schmancy Demero bag. So I'm going to first finish off this front tail into the uh, single crochets. So I like to go down into a V just 
so it pulls the stitch down and then I just go across here a couple of times maybe three since I've got such a tail never go back in through the same um, stitch you came out of or it'll just pull it right apart so I've got that done gonna snip that one and it's really gonna get lost because we stretch and stretch and stretch okay so now I've got this magic circle one pull it up from the bottom pull it tight thread my needle and it came around this way I can tell because it's coming out of this stitch right here so I'm going to turn around and go backwards once and that's actually the second time through because it's already gone through when I stitched over it and then come back and that'll hold it and then you can clip it or not it gets it gets hidden inside so here's one fast and cute little yarn ball cozy. That's what we're saying it is. And so let me show you a small piece of yarn. All right, so here's a small ball of yarn that I was pulling from the center and apparently got stuck on something so it pulled a lot from the center but as I use it it's gonna get more and more loose and so as I use this the scraps up I want it to stay together so I put it down here in this yarn ball cozy cozy oh pull out a knot so what I did with this one is I had a larger skein and I used a lot of it and so then I just put it on my ball winder and um, had a center pull from the ball winder and so that fits in there and then like I said you can have all kinds of different sizes this one was a little bit bigger because this was a little bit bigger that I started to use to make one of these but uses hardly any yarn this is seriously a scrap yarn Thing because it's just for you to use it's not like you know it's not like you're gonna well you might give it to gifts as gifts to um, another crocheter but you'll probably use them or make them and just throw them in your in your um, stash of, of tools now so this one is a little bit bigger this is one that I made without a, a rubber band or a, or a hair tie and then I just um, wove in something that I could I could pull as a tie to make it a little smaller on the top if you need it uh, so if you get like a uh, a larger this is the end of a skein and so I went on my ball winder and made a nice pretty little ball put that in there so we can pull it tight if we want and then like tie it to this one so it'll stay tight a couple of little loops there and that'll keep it kind of tight as you're using it and pulling through the center kind of nice huh and it just holds it in there and then I also did one just straight double crochet I'm not quite sure this I think this was one of the first ones that I did so you don't have to do straight double crochet um, but you can if you want and there's my magic ring I couldn't even close it because this is this is that thick stretchy um, t-shirt yarn so it's really stretchy and so I didn't put anything on the top I actually made a decrease around the top but then if you get yarn balls like this, this is a Mary Maxim Mellow Spun, Ultra Mellow Spun, um, like this, you take the, the, um, the tag off and then you find the middle pole 
and this is a different one. This is a this is a bamboo cotton. This is why I made these because I was making a, a pretty large dress and I was coming across lots of empty ones or you know hollow hollowed out balls. So it started like this and I found the center and I pulled it and then you can just push it down in there and even if it's larger this will even take a larger ball yarn ball in there so um, you can make them all different sizes and um, use them to keep your I've seen the uh, the yarn sleeves in some of the catalogs that I get um, but I'm not really sure about them I've never purchased them I've never used them I don't know I don't like how it's open at the end you know this keeps it right there keeps it closed and you just keep using it and you can start off in the big one and then move it to a medium one and then move it into a small one um, if you'd like or just keep using this until it's all done so that's it I hope that that was helpful to you and you can whip some of these up really quickly and like I said for your own tool chest or for um, a gift for a crocheter this would be a nice like last minute gift for a crocheter because it takes no time at all to make one um, and you could make a couple make a set and um, and they would be very happy to have it I can tell you that right now because I'm very happy that I came up with this idea so Anyway, thank you for your time. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and um, click on the little bell so that you get a reminder anytime that I, uh, or a notice anytime that I put out a new video. And uh, like the video if you like. And um, we always have a choice, so please choose happy. And thank you very much for your time. Bye.